Well, well, well. What have we here? Welcome, everyone. It's 1 a.m. UK time. Tomo's here. It's okay, everyone. Tomo's here. Don't you worry, right? I was hoping the news was going to drop. <clears throat> and it has. It's official. Pierre Gasly will be driving for Alpine next year. It is official, everyone. You can see it as clearly as I can. Sui, indeed. Hello, everyone. Maybe some of you don't typically catch my streams um, because of because of the timing, you know. But Pierre Gasly is leaving AlphaTauri. Multi-year deal at Alpine from next year onwards. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Now, I am going to find some more pictures. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a little, a little search on the o, the old Googs, right? So that that's well, that's Alpine, not on Google, on Twitter. Let's have a look on Pierre's page. What's he? Uh, here we go. New chapter will start in 2023 with Alpine F1 team. Le Bosch indeed, Louis. Le Bosch indeed. Extremely excited to join the team on a multi-year deal and work our way to the top together. <sighs> Mad. Mad. Well, Impia. Actually, the first account I saw was uh, Canal Plus. Um, dropping the, dropping the news. Julien, big up Julien. Several years, so it's a multi-year deal, which I'm not surprised. Not surprised. Hello, Dakar. Good to see you, mate. Of course you're awake. That's the uh, the the classic editor sleeping pattern there. Um. Now, obviously. I have put in the title that um, De Vries, De Vries has gone to Alpha Tauri, which hasn't actually been confirmed. Should I keep De Vries? You know what? No, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take the De Vries bit out of the title. Okay. Oh, mate. No, no, no. Uh, hang on. De Vries probably. I just add a probably and I'm fine. Probably joins Alpha Tower for 2023. <laughs> I'm allowed. I'm allowed to do probably. Okay, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. But obviously, you know, Red Bull were very clear that they weren't gonna be. Um, they weren't going to be letting Pierre go unless they had an exciting option in. And if it's not Nick De Vries, then who is it? Who is it? Should I tell um actually, maybe I should uh maybe I should wait. Oh actually, no, no I'm just I'll just do a There we go. Cool. Oh, Gasly couldn't stop smiling when we caught up to talk about his new multi-year deal for our... Here we go. F1 exclusive. Right, let's have a butch at this then, shall we? Let's have a butch. F1 little exclusive with old Lawrence Barreto. Let's get this... Uh, let's get this nicely cropped so it looks half decent on screen. I love bringing the uh, I love bringing the the breaking news, you know. Thank you, Dewa. Um, the Alpine lineup lineup will be chaotic, and I'm here for it. Well, look, hopefully, hopefully not. Okay, 
Hopefully they make it work. I'm sure they will. Um, right. What's what's interesting in here then? We had one. Let's just see the the quotes. Walking away, strolls in, beaming smile. Sense of relief. Alpine offers more than just a seat; it's an opportunity to grow. It's incredible. It's a very special moment in my career. I'm closing a nine-year chapter with Red Bull and starting a very exciting one, taking my professional life by myself and starting a new adventure with Alpine. Starting to do it with a French team and a special story with Alpine. I won my first European Championship with Renault. Blah blah blah. Uh, right thing to do in my career. Agreed. Agreed. Definitely the right thing to do. Um, I've said this, I, I think, you know, if there was an opportunity, I think Pierre should have, you know, moved mountains to make it happen. And it has, seemingly. Well, it has, confirmed now. Um, progress feels right, right step, blah, blah, blah. Uh, is there much? Very confident that could be a successful partnership, showing the potential. Which, I mean, look, they have. I, I, I know Alpine have, have checked a lot of... Um, have caught a lot of... Is De Vries confirmed now? Is De Vries... Okay, there we go. De, De Vries is confirmed, right? I know, I know. Oh, Gallagher's tweeting about it. I just got to make sure. There we go. <laughs> it wasn't clickbait. I shouldn't have changed the title. I bottled it, man. I bottled it. We know what I did do, right? Hang on. So it is, it is confirmed. De Vries will be. Sorry, I'm, I'm losing track of all my bloody uh, all my screens here, man. Let's just just let's go for the full story. Um, Nick De Vries joins for 2020. Hang on. What am I? What am I doing? Right. Hang on. There we go. Nick De Vries joins for 2023 season. No, it's not past my bedtime, Louis. Not when there's driver market news, all right? I'm here, okay? I'm here. Well done, Nick. That means that I can, yeah, I, I can, I can change the, uh, the title back. There we go. There we go. Right. Nick DeVries has decided to join Scuderia Alpha Tauri for the 2023 F1 season. Pierre Gasly has decided to leave the team at the end of 2020. They, they word this in a very matter-of-fact way. <laughs> has decided to. <laughs> it's, it's quite strange the way they've worded this. Um, right. Um, Nick DeVries, I'm very excited to enjoy it. I mean, it's just going to be, be kind of waffle, isn't it, really? Um... They've even got a little video, which I'm not going to um, play on here because I'll get a copy strike almost. I mean, it's just it's just some stills, some stills from the video. I'm not playing the video, YouTube. Don't worry. Alpha Terry, don't strike me. It's just him having a chat. Well, I mean, I mean, feel free to uh, to watch that. Um, why did they spell it Nick? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is translated from. Hmm. I'm not sure. That is a bit odd. But yeah, there we go. It's done. Scuderia Alpha Tauri. Nick DeVries. Done. Confirmed. Confirmed. Although, I don't follow Nick on Twitter. How dare I? Um, it's not on his uh, profile yet. Wake up, Nick. Come on, mate. Come on, son. Ocon has tweeted a welcome. Come on then, let's have a... Let's, we'll see what Estes, SD Best is tweeted. <laughs> Two little kids from Normandy with an impossible dream. Welcome to the Alpine family. Piero. Piero. Let's make our team and country proud. Uh, I can't believe Gasly, United fan. Shocking, shocking, awful. Now look, obviously, I know there's a, there's there's history there for sure, um, but I like to think, right? You know, 
these two can can can, can work for it, right? I, li I like to think that they can they can put their uh, their their quarrels from the past behind them and uh, and do something good. In fact, I've not even. Oh, look, here we go. Here's the, uh, which is the image that Fabrizio, if you saw Fabrizio Romano, tweeted earlier um, with Pierre sitting on these stairs, but you can only see Pierre. And it turns out they're, they're together. There you go. Look at that. How is there already a fully edited video of WTF1 about Gasly and DeVries? What, have they just put a video out? Yeah, I mean, look, so sometimes a lot of this news is, is, is known like behind the scenes um so that people can get kind of prepared um in terms of journalists anyway um you get that kind of it's a bit of oh yeah let's look, look, look. see look there's a whole sky sports piece with gasly talking to ted specifically about the move so yeah in in terms of from a journalistic point of view I imagine that's why then I did see a couple of F1 journos um, tweet like basically a bit annoyed that Fabrizio was allowed to kind of leak the news because basically everyone knew obviously like look they've written articles about it there's been like there's been um, yeah there's been videos made there's been articles about it like this was already known for a while yeah I mean they, they did just I'm just gonna. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of. It, it it wasn't a secret, you know, but I I didn't know. I didn't know for sure, but I had heard that it was gonna be announced at nine a.m. Um, Japan time, which um, is ne is is now is one a.m. UK time. So there you go. It's confirmed, everyone. And you know what, as well, we can get off the screen share because I even prepared graphics for Gasly joins Alpine. Look at that. Boom. And DeVries joins Alpha Tauri because I assumed we'd hear about both, and we have heard about both. So there you go. Um, right, yeah. So, right, I'm going to get the poll ready so you'll, you'll know what's going on. Um, good. The right move for Gasly. First poll. Do you think it was? Do you think this is the right move for Pierre Gasly? Now, obviously, for me, yeah, it has to be. Like getting out of that Red Bull family, I think was just. Uh, it, it, it wasn't gonna. He wasn't gonna be getting back in that seat. The, the fact that they weren't. Well, I'll, I'll explain why I think De Vries has gone to Alpha Tauri. Um, I guess when we talk about him, but I think that, you know, the fact that he didn't already get the promotion after a good season last year and Checo was kept in that seat, that combined with, again, it sounds like Bridges were burnt um, when he was there. And when he was at Red Bull, obviously had a great time at Toro Rosso, great time at Alfa um, very much put himself in the shot window. You feel like it was always going to have to be a, It was it was gonna take something significant for him to ever get a sniff back at Red Bull, um, like something huge, and I just don't think it was ever gonna happen. And like, look again, like we've clowned on Alpine a lot recently because of the driver transfer, driver market news. But look, at the end of the day, they are a um, they are a, a manufacturer team. They're on a good trajectory. Like they're probably the fourth best car this year. And, you know, I've, I've been banging this drum for a while. I mean, in my 2021 driver predictions, I put Pierre Gasly to Alpine. I was two years too early, um, but never mind. I actually thought we'd go back to Red Bull. Um, but, yeah, I think the more I learned about how that kind of relationship kind of went and and, and the, as well, how good a job Checo has done generally speaking relative to Gasly and Albon in that seat I think it was yeah it was kind of an inevitability that he would have to look elsewhere and I think Alpine's a fantastic fit opportunity 
you know, two French drivers at a French team. Is that significant? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But it, it seems like a nice fit, you know what I mean? The boys from Normandy did good at the end of the day. And uh, you got to remember as well, isn't it? Isn't Renault, correct me if I'm wrong, but Renault is, is part owned by the French government, isn't it, as well? I, f I feel like that could maybe have added to the sense of um, <clears throat> desire to have um, to have an all French lineup. up Allez les bleus. Allez les bleus. I actually really like France and French people, which I, I know isn't a particularly English thing to say because we're meant to have like rivalry, aren't we? But actually, I've got a lot of French mates at my old job. So, um, I'm fully on the Allez le Bleu train, for sure. So, yeah, it's 15%, something like that. Um, so, yeah, it, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense for Pierre. And it kind of shows the fact that they've essentially, Red Bull have replaced Gasly with, with Nick De Vries. Um, it shows kind of what their intentions are long term. Now, now to me, this... This move suggests a few things. Um, can you see I've added the little AlphaTauri logo there on, even though that's a picture of De Vries with Oscar Pito. But um, never mind. <laughs> so what this tells me is is a few things, I guess, that Red Bull don't have a huge amount of faith in junior the, the juniors at the minute in F2. So you could say Liam Lawson, Johan Darivala, um, obviously Awasa. Like a, a lot of these drivers, you know, aren't going to have enough points for a super license. I'm not sure if Darivala might. Will Darivala potentially? He might have enough super license points by the end of this year. Lawson will definitely. Um, but yeah, no one's really shone and and really staked to claim. If anything, doing. Who actually was ex Red Bull, and then he signed with Alpine. Or, yeah, he he was at Red Bull and then he signed with Alpine. If anything, he's doing the kind of best job out of you know compared to all the other Red Bull juniors. And um, also, this kind of suggests to me that maybe, you know, how much faith do? Because for me, one hundred percent, this is a move to find Max Verstappen's long term number two after Sergio Perez for me this is this screams that to me this screams max verstappen's long-term number two this is what kind of immediately jumped out to to me i think i think someone meant i remember someone mentioning the idea and i was like oh my god yes that makes so much sense and uh look we'll, we'll see long term i mean look nick de Vries isn't old he's like 27 um I think as well, yeah, he's got like, he's like six years younger than, uh, he's like the same age as Pierre, I think. Is he the same age as Pierre? Hang on. Nick De Vries is 27, was born in February 95, and Pierre Gasly is 26, and was born in February 96. So there's about a year, so Nick is a year older than Pierre, but then Sergio, and I, look, Oh, we're always talking about drivers' ages. Yeah, Th Sergio's 32. So there's five years between them. But yeah, I, I just think that it makes sense. that That's the sense that I can ascertain from it, I suppose. Because I think a Toro Rosso of the past would have just taken a punt on Lawson. Um, I think... Would have, would have just because why not why not but i think now where that team is slightly different and again i th oh oh minton has joined us should we see him? Should, should we get him? what do you think mate what do you think <laughs> what are you doing awake what are you doing awake sausage dog sorry Min minton did, did you hear the news are you excited um yeah it, it's saint midnight minton indeed Get how tired he is. Why did you decide to come in here? Hey? Could you hear daddy talking? Um, 
<laughs> Minton, where are you where are you going in 2023, mate? Who are you signing with? He's a sleepy dog, isn't he? <laughs> Alright, I'll put you in your bed, mate. I feel, I feel bad. Uh, right, anyway, okay, so uh, let, let me do another poll. Um, so, right move for the freeze. Because obviously this now confirms that the very won't be going to Williams, and I guess yeah, it, it's just has some Williams now um, that have drivers that aren't confirmed. I think, I mean Schumacher having that shunt in a at the end of free practice one certainly won't have helped his um, his you know, standing at Haas and his relationship with Gunter. Um, because right, rightly, you know, rightly Gunter wasn't too happy. I mean, that is fair enough. And how long is Nick's contract? That's a good question. Um, full story. Let me, let me quickly read. Um, for the 2023 season... Yeah, I reckon this is just a one-year deal. It doesn't. I can't see anything saying multi-year, so I'm pretty sure it's just a one-year deal for um, Nick DeVries. Thank you, Arno, for the two dollars. Ever thought painting <laughs> painting your own pink? Maybe one day. That would be pretty cool. Um, no, I, I, is it multi-year? Uh, it might be multi-year. But um, I'm not sure. I, I think with yeah, with with Williams, I think now clearly now the number one option is is Logan Sargent, and he probably will get enough super license points, and that's pretty exciting. Um, he if he if he gets really unlucky in Abu Dhabi, he might not get the super license points, but it's all but confirmed. And Ricardo. It's not going to happen, is it? Ricardo to Hassel Williams isn't going to happen. Um, Mick Schumacher could be an option if um, Williams can't get Sargent, I guess. It, de it depends, really, because obviously then there's Giovinazzi and Hulkenberg. Those names are being chucked around. you got to think for, for uh, Hulkenberg, there's potentially an opportunity because Felipe Drogovic has taken his reserve role. Aston Martin, Felipe will be doing FP1 at Abu Dhabi. If you saw me on any Driven Monday, I got that exclusive, by the way. I didn't even realise at the time that 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 was... And he was like, yeah, I'm doing FP1. I was like, oh, cool, sick. <laughs> it was fun. Um, so, yeah, th there's, there's... Yeah, it's between... It's, Sh it's Schumacher... Sergeant, Jovanetti or Hulkenberg. Of those four, two of them are going to be in F1 next year. Two of them are. But yeah. We'll see. Right, let, let's go for... Yeah, most of you think this is the right move for De Vries. And I agree. I agree. I, I, I think Williams aren't showing enough. Aren't potentially... Aren't offering enough to, to a potentially get a... It's not, not going to be Ricardo, is it? Daniel's like openly, pretty openly spoken about, you know, having a year off in 2024. So, um, right. Who's getting the Haas seat? So is it Schumacher? Is it Giovinazzi? Is it Hulk? Or is it other? And do, do, do a couple more polls and then we'll... Uh, We'll wrap this up. Don't need don't need to be talking for more than half an hour, and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm not doing a stream for qualifying. Sod that. I'm going to have a nice kip, and then I'm going to avoid spoilers and hopefully watch the uh, watch quality without spoilers um, in the day at some point. So what are you lot saying? Who's who who's going to get the Haas seat next year? Forty five percent of you think Schumacher. 24 Hulk, 16 Jovanazzi, 14% other. Who would be the, the 
the other. I guess Ricardo. Van Dorn. Quality at midnight for you, pumped. Good, good stuff, Nathan. You know? Nah, I'm not prepping for it. I'm not interested in watching FP3, I'll be honest. We are. Um, thank you, Daniel, mate, for the two quid. Do you think you're out for Rick is good? I honestly struggle to to believe that he'll get back into F1 if he takes a year out. And I think if I had to put money on it, I would say Daniel Ricciardo's F1 career will be over, sadly. Um, I hate to say it, but I just can't see a way back, unfortunately. You can't leave on a low. That's the problem. He, he needs a really good end to the season. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Um, right, so most of you think Schumacher, which, uh, yeah, I, I, I think that Schumacher's done enough. I don't think he's done, like, moved mountains, but I think he's done enough. All right, and then who's getting the, uh, who is getting the Williams seat? Um, so is it Sargent? Is it Schumacher? Or is it other i guess i mean for me there's sergeant schumacher and then maybe ricardo maybe Giovinazzi, maybe hulkenberg but i don't think any of them have been really linked so like surely it's it's going to be sergeant well yeah so felipe is going to be doing fp1 in abu dhabi which is not because that's what he was saying he, he's saying it's nice because he can he can do FP1 in Abu Dhabi without having to worry about the F2 because he's already won the championship. Um, so it's kind of, it's nice, you know. Alonso left McLaren on a low. Yeah, but his performances weren't on a low. The teams, the team was terrible. Alonso was dragging results out of that, out of that car like a madness. But his performances were never in, in question. 69% um, of you think Sargent. Nice. 16% Schumacher. Yeah, I, th I think Schumacher's potentially an option on the t on the table. It kind of depends what... Because it kind of has has hold the cards with Schumacher. They might as well wait until the end of the season to see. I think keep, Mick. I think I, th I think keep. I think I think keep hold of Mikolas Schumacher. But yeah, there we go. All right. Well, cheers everyone for coming. Gasly joins Alpine, and De Vries joins Alpha Tauri for 2023 is confirmed. We stayed up to 1 p.m. to get the business done. Thank you all for coming. Appreciate you all taking the time. I'm going to now go to bed, and I'm not going to watch qualifying. Not live anyway. I'm going to sleep and then watch it later. But the driver transfer news is done two seats to go we'll see thank you all for coming be good be well be happy and i will see you on monday maybe sun i don't know i'll see you when i see you last lap this weekend sunday early start for me be there that'll be a good one actually i'm looking forward to that on sunday but yeah Cheers, everyone. Ciao, adios.